Okay, guys, this video, I'm going to show you how to do matrix operations. I provide the file in the description. So here you have a matrix. This is a matrix three by four, three rows, four columns. And it's uh, on my sheet called matrices. Then I have a number called scale factor on this cell B6. And the first thing we want to do, and this is already in part of your file, if I click here, matrix operation one, it's going to do this operation. It's going to multiply my matrix, each of the elements by scale factor. Let's make scale factor equals two. And then I have a second matrix, which is also three by four, three rows, uh, four columns. And the final operation is going to say add A plus B. And when you add matrices, you add element by element. So let's run this. If I click here, it does the operation. It multiplies each of these elements by a factor, in this case two, and that's the answer. And then it added A plus B, which would be adding each of the elements of this matrix plus this, each of the elements of this matrix that will give me the answer solution here. Of course, when I'm adding or subtracting matrices, they need to have the same dimensions, the same number of rows and columns. Okay, this is already there. But what I asking you to do here is modify the program to calculate and print here, print here in the worksheet the following operations. D, which will be A minus 2B, E, which is 3A plus 4B, and F, which is this operation. Well, let's see how the code looks because my code is reading this matrix, is multiplying by a factor and is writing down here. So if I go here to developer, Visual Basic, I already have this program, which you are going to use to uh, as a reference to, to do the new one. Okay, first I'm going to declare the variables. I declare the matrices, which are three by four. I have three matrices, A, B, and C. And then here I'm going to read the matrix from the sheet, worksheet. And to do so, first I need to identify where are the numbers. So before we do that, let me show you here I have in this second tab, this is the convention. When I refer to a cell, for instance, this is the cell A1, but instead of saying cell one, I'm going to say is the cell one one because it corresponds to the first row, first column. This cell, for instance, is cell one four. Row one, column four. And this is a very powerful way to, I, uh, find cells, so read uh, data from the cells and write uh, data to specific cells. All you have to do is identify what are the, say, let's say the coordinates or the position of each of these cells. For instance, this is, this cell B3 is the cell 3, 2, row three, column two. Okay, so let's go back here. So while reading this, and my code is saying, here's the code, which is already included, read matrix from worksheet. So I'm going to run over the rows and run over the columns, and I'm going to be reading the cells. We have this data, and I'm going to assign to the matrix A. Notice how I say I goes from I plus one, and the reason for that is because instead of reading from, from the first row, I'm reading from the second row. So the first number I'm reading is here. It's actually in row two, column one. So this is a two, one. Okay, let's go here. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. It's going to run from, for the three rows, four columns, and it's going to read the cells assigned to the matrix A. Then I'm going to read the factor. See, notice how the factor is in cell six, two, here, row six, column two. It's going to read the value here. And now I'm going to multiply each of the elements of the matrix A by the factor and assign to the new value. This is the way we multiply when we do programming. We actually read from right to left, multiply the element times factor and assign to be the new element. Okay, that's done. But now I need to write the resulting matrix. So again, I'm going to write here on these cells, which starts from row nine, so that's when I do here, you see developer, go back here. I'm going to write down, and that's when I say 
write i plus eight, because I'm going to start reading, uh, writing on the row nine and columns one to four. So that's how I write this here. Uh, if you follow until here, you can see that the uh, reading B is a similar thing. I'm just going to read from starting from row 15 in columns one to four, I read B, then add the two matrices, element by element. And this is really a practice. I know there should be, uh, there is an easier way to add matrices, but this is a practice for you to identify how to read cells, read and write cells. So add the two matrices, and then finally I write the resultant matrix on this cell, starting on row 21, that's why I add 20, in columns one to four. That's why I write here. So again, uh, I can erase this and run again my program. Say my factor is now minus five. Click here, run the program, multiply the matrix, A matrix by minus five, and then add matrix A plus B equals C. Right? So, okay, that's what is already there. But what I'm asking you is to modify the program to calculate these two, these three other operations. So to do so, Let's go here to developer and I'm going to create a new program. So I'm going to call insert module and I'm going to call this program matrix operations two. Okay, so let's see how my program looks. First, I'm going to define the variables. I have no more matrices because I'm called A, B, C, D, E, and F. All of them are defined here. All of them are three by four. Then I'm going to read the matrix on the worksheet. This is the similar, exactly the same, same that the other program because we are still reading A and B. I'm going to multiply by the factor. I'm adding the code here. Read the factor, multiply. Again, this is just similar to the previous, but uh, we are rewriting the code to add the additional operations. Then I'm going to write the new matrix. I'm going to read, read the B matrix, add A plus B. That's my answer. Okay, this is really just a copy of the program we already have. Now we need to modify to add the additional operations. Now we're going to calculate the D matrix, which is A minus 2B. And this is a faster way to do it because see, I'm doing, I'm running from, for the three rows in four columns. And the operation is the element of A minus two times the element of B run it and we can calculate the matrix D. So we are doing this operation. D equals A minus 2B for each of the elements of A and each of the elements of B, doing the algebra here. Then we want to write the matrix, matrix D. And see, I highlighted what I want you to write the matrix, which is here. You can see this starts in row 15 and it starts in column six. So this element will be 15 comma six. That's what I want to write the answers starting from there. So that's what I do here. Because uh, it's from 15, I add 14. And because it's from six, I add five. So, so when I write here. So basically that's what we did for calculating matrix D. We can do exactly a similar procedure to calculate matrix E. Now matrix E, is 3a plus 4b and I'm going to uh, I'm going to do two things at the same time uh, do the calculation and write the answer into the cells I'm asking you which are here again identify this element is in row 21 column 6 so I'm doing the, the operation and I'm writing the answer and finally doing for the last operation. Matrix F is 4B minus A over two. Now this is starting here on this row 15, column 11. This is this cell. 
and I'm going to add here this operation. So again, I do the operation and I write the answer already and I finish my subroutine. Okay, let's save it here, my new program. And then close it. So I already have a button here. So I'm going to, let's, let's remove the button so you can see how I added. So let's go to the developer, insert button. And I'm going to assign this button to matrix operations two, which is my new program. And maybe I can write here, right click. So I can write here, uh, matrix operations two. Okay, save it. So I'm going to click here and it's going to do all these three calculations. So let's do something. Let's remove this because this matrix operation to do the whole thing is an extension of the first program. Let's change the factor here for say 0.32. When I click here, it does the whole thing. Multiply by factor and then adds A plus B and do this, all these three other operations. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.